My name is Amelia. I'm a public health educator at Maine General Medical Center. This presentation will cover basic information on a stimulant drug, methamphetamine. So what drugs are stimulants? The class of stimulants covers a range of drugs, including the ones listed on the screen and many more. Some of the big ones are methamphetamine or crystal meth, cocaine or crack cocaine, molly or ecstasy, and prescription medications like Vivans, Ritalin, and Adderall. Common slang words for stimulants are uppers or speed. Although all of these stimulants are made differently and with different chemicals, they are included underneath stimulants because of what they do to the body when you take them. Illicit street stimulants and some prescription stimulants can lead to overdose if they are misused or used in combination with other drugs. Methamphetamine involved deaths are rising in Maine. So what exactly is methamphetamine? Methamphetamine is a drug made from a chemical cooking combination. It usually looks smaller white, bluish crystals. In the brain, methamphetamine causes a chemical reaction that alerts the way the brain works. Methamphetamine is commonly referred to as meth, crystal, crystal meth, speed, or blue. What does meth do to the human body? When someone does meth, is either by smoking, injecting, snorting, or eating. After taking it, the high starts and fades very quickly. This quick high can lead to a repeated binge and crash pattern where someone keeps taking more meth to stay high. Because of the way people binge, crash, and crave meth, there's something called a run that people who take meth typically do. A run is when someone doesn't eat, sleep, while taking meth for every few hours over several days. At the end of this run, their body is physically exhausted. When you take methamphetamine, your body releases a ton of dopamine, which makes your brain feel very happy. This can lead people to want to take the drug over and over again in order to feel the same high of happiness, alertness, and energy. When someone uses meth over and over, whether that is five times a day or daily, their body starts to adapt to using meth and it will begin to rely on using it. So if they're using a lot and then they stop using quickly, their body will be very confused and will experience withdrawal symptoms. Withdrawal symptoms from methamphetamine include painful insomnia, fatigue, depression, and even psychosis like paranoia or hallucinations. It can be helpful to think of withdrawal symptoms as the opposite of what the drug does to someone. Experiencing withdrawal symptoms is uncomfortable and painful. There are very intense drug cravings with methamphetamine use in specific. When someone is going through withdrawal, they remember how happy and energetic meth made them feel and how they know that using meth will make the withdrawal symptoms go away. So the effects of meth appear to be almost immediate and they disappear very quickly. How long the effects last and how intense they are depends on the method of use. For example, injecting or smoking meth produces a quicker and stronger but shorter lasting high than snorting it. This brief high of short-term energy can cause people to want to use again and again. However, there are also some unfavorable short-term effects like unpredictable and bizarre behavior. As we mentioned before, using meth can decrease someone's appetite. After taking meth for a long period of time, the person will experience significant weight loss from not eating over several days or weeks. After using meth often for a long time, the human body will begin to fail. Some of the long-term effects of methamphetamine include dental rot, itching of the skin, which can lead to sores, potential hallucinations and anxiety. The human brain can become forever altered if someone uses meth a lot. Meth can cause problems with memory, sleeping, emotions, and even coordination. Additionally, depending on how you take the drug, you can have other more serious long-term complications. Meth is very harsh, intense chemical. If snorted many times, meth can lead to the loss of smell or taste and frequent nosebleeds. If smoked, meth can cause a cough, insomnia, and weaker lungs, which can lead to infections. True or false, people who inject rather than smoke methamphetamine typically have more intense methamphetamine dependence. True, along with a more intense high and intense addiction, injecting drugs can result in a lot of other health problems. Some of the most serious long-term complications can come from injecting drugs, either methamphetamine or anything else. When injecting drugs, the skin at the injection sites can become scarred and damaged, leading to scar tissue buildup, vein collapse, or abscesses. If injecting drug equipment is not 100% sterile, it can lead to blood infections, endocarditis, tetanus infection, botulism, or flesh-eating virus. 
If the equipment has been shared or used by someone else, there's a high risk of blood to blood contact, which can transmit HIV or hepatitis C. To best avoid the effects of injection drug use, it is important to use a sterile, new, clean needle every single time you inject drugs. Needle exchanges are used for the purpose of giving people clean, free supplies in order to inject drugs and avoid infections, abscesses, and transmission of hepatitis C or HIV, or lastly, overdose. Bringing in used syringes, they'll be disposed of, and then clean needles and supplies will be offered, like alcohol prep pads, cottons, and sterile waters. Narcan is also available. Please call 872-4102 for the Augusta or Waterville location and hours. To treat methamphetamine use disorder, there is no perfect treatment. Under doctor's prescription, some types of drugs can help some people treat their methamphetamine use disorder. For example, scientists are trying naltrexone, which is typically used to treat alcohol use disorder. It may be beneficial in helping treat methamphetamine use disorder. However, currently best practice is behavioral therapy to treat methamphetamine use disorder. What are some symptoms of a methamphetamine overdose? A stimulant overdose can result in a seizure, stroke, or heart attack. Therefore, the symptoms of a methamphetamine overdose include chest pain, sweating, vomiting, nausea, and very rapid heart rate or breathing. If someone is experiencing these symptoms, you should call 911 and tell them all the information you have about the drug being taken so that emergency responders can be prepared when they arrive. In the meantime, administer Narcan if the person may have taken opioids. There are no bad effects of Narcan if someone didn't actually take opioids, but it is helpful to give Narcan just in case they did take opioids. There is no Narcan equivalent to stimulants like methamphetamine. Apply a cool compress to the person overdosing and stay calm. When emergency C responders arrive, allow them to help the person. There is a Good Samaritan law in Maine, so you will not be arrested for any drug use or outstanding warrants. Unfortunately, not enough people are being helped when they are overdosing from methamphetamine. Methamphetamine-involved deaths have increased exponentially in the past decade. In Maine, methamphetamine-involved overdose deaths have increased by 4,600% over the past six years. Of all the overdose deaths that involve methamphetamine, 77% also involve illicit street opioids like fentanyl, heroin, or morphine. There is a problem with taking methamphetamine and illicit street opioids at the same time. You can easily overdose while taking stimulants and opioids at once. The number of people with an opioid use disorder who also take stimulants, like methamphetamine, is rising rapidly. Since 2008, there has been a 300% increase in the number of people with an opioid use disorder reporting meth use. Across the United States, methamphetamine-involved deaths are increasing rapidly. They've increased by 43% from 2016 to 2017 in the U.S.